Hello and welcome to this quick tips video which is about disconnecting the channel settings window from the channel that you have selected which may seem like an odd thing to do but there are a couple of situations where I think it can be useful. So firstly let's take a quick look at the problem in air quotes. So typically I've got this channel on always on top but typically when I change the channel I've got selected the channel settings window follows that. So you can see that depending on what I've got selected those settings are changing. Often that is what you want, but sometimes it isn't. There's a couple of situations where I think this can be useful. So let's look at the actual setting. So it's here, and this is available in all versions of Cubase. I'm currently running Cubase Elements. And we untick follow E buttons or selection changes. So as soon as you do that, this window is now independent of the track that you select. So we can see it just belongs to that track. It's not following those. So if you want to select another track and see its settings, you can do that while you're still working on this. I think this is useful if you've got a multi-fader MIDI controller, which typically will select the track that you are currently changing the fader for. So you can end up jumping all over the place. Whereas here now you could maybe ride the faders for the other parts of the drum kit while you're adjusting the kick, that kind of thing. The other situation where I think this is useful is it allows you to open two or more channel settings windows at the same time. So if I click on snare and click the E for that, you'll see we've now got two channel settings windows open. So we can see all of the settings for them. Maybe we want to compare channel strips, that kind of thing. In this case, there's nothing to compare, but you might want to do that. And it gives you access to all of those. Now, what's kind of interesting is the new channel settings window has not remembered that setting. So this will still follow the channels as you change. But you can change that as well. So you could maybe change this one and then you could open up a third one. I think you get the idea. You can open up a, a load of these and compare them with each other. I'm not sure how useful that is, but certainly having two open and being able to compare them can be useful sometimes. As ever, I hope you found this useful and we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.